Kyle and Ricky, you made it to the final round. $8,250 is up for grabs, but only one of you gets to take that money home. So you'll now be playing against each other head to head. I'll ask alternating questions, best of three, whoever gets the most questions correct wins. So Kyle and Ricky, for $8,250, let's play the weakest link. Ricky, it's the strongest link in the last round. You have to decide who goes first. I will. Ricky, what actor was named People Magazine's very first sexiest man alive in 1985? Tom Cruise. You know the correct answer is Mel Gibson. Kyle, the film The Silence of the Lambs is based on a book by what author? Tom Clancy. You know the correct answer is Thomas Harris. Ricky, what is the nickname of the presidential briefcase containing America's weapon launch codes? The black box. You know the correct answer is football. Kyle, the drachma was used as the basic monetary unit of which European country until January of 2002? Portugal. You know the correct answer is Greece. Ricky, in music, what former Stray Cats leader now fronts his own big band swing orchestra? Brian Setzer. That is the correct answer. Kyle, you have to get this right, otherwise Ricky is one. What breed of terrier is named for a 19th century British clergyman who bred dogs for fox hunting? Jack Russell. That is the correct answer. After three questions, your scores are tied. So Kyle, Ricky, let's play Sudden Death. Ricky, which trial in Dayton, Tennessee, was the basis for the book, The World's Most Famous Court Trial? The trial of Lizzie Borden. You no, know the correct answer is Scope's trial. Kyle, what was the character Fonzie's first name in the sitcom Happy Days? Arthur. That is the correct answer. Kyle, you're today's strongest link, and you go away with $8,250. Ricky, you go away with nothing. When I get back to school, I'm sure my students will be uh, extremely proud that I made it this far and won the money, so... It should be really exciting. I'd never even heard of the Scopes trial. I just stood there praying that some word would...